What the fuck? Two buses!
to Chris Scudder, I suppose, presenter, is going to be here. And, and you were actually involved in yeah, the so last possession at not yeah. the Champions League, but, but... It's been a few of them, yeah. T 2005, on the, the equivalent of the, the front bus there, I was right at the front, on, no. the, on, on the top. We were filming it live for, for Sky Sports News at the time. Um, actually on board, uh, going around the identical route, and it was pretty crazy, I have to say. It was a fantastic experience, I remember. That was the time when uh, they just won their first league under... Uh, Jose Mourinho back in 2005, lost the one of the next year as well, uh, but of course nothing like the, the Champions League, which is uh, the big trophy, but it's going to take them a while to get around there, and they're going to kind of, uh, kind of oblong, they're kind of square around the streets there, they will turn right uh, in a little while down the Hortensia Road, then down the King's Road, down to Eelbrook Common, uh, and then eventually off, but you can see that there are fans all over the place there, and um, it's just a chance for the, for the players to let their hair down. I remember when I was on there, Joe Cole had his glasses knocked off by a, by a branch as he went past, that kind of thing. It's all full of the crazy and, um, you know, just a chance for them all to... to uh, I, I don't suppose any of them had a, 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 any sleep, really, either, uh, at this stage. It's been a long night. I know uh, they didn't get back to their hotel at uni until about 2 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, it's a, it's a pretty tiring time, but the adrenaline, I think, is, has kicked in. And uh, I, I just want to spot Roman Abramovich on the top. No, there. I didn't see him. Uh, the day I was on there, he was there. But he, was, he was very private, didn't want the camera pointed at him at all. Uh, he was there with his young son at the time, so it was seven years ago now. Um, but uh, well, keep an eye out. I'm sure, I'm sure he's there. Yeah, okay. so this, is, this is his moment, too. He spent all a billion pounds in assembling uh, that lot on the top. Um, and uh, yeah, the bus, uh, the stickers say they're all hastily arranged champions of Europe. And, um, and there they are. John Terry, Frank Lampard, that's still all before really. Um, and uh, Didier Drogba, I remember speaking to him that day, and he, uh, back in 2005, and he was you know, saying that it's only the, the, the start of the journey for them, really, as it were, having won their first league. Uh, of course, they won the title the next year as well. And finally, after missing out so many times in the semi finals of the Champions League and getting to the final, losing in 2008 to Manchester United, they have. I've got their hands, you see the trophy that's been passed. I know, very precarious. And everybody trying to get, trying to get their hands on it. I think we're going to get all the fans along the, the route trying to get pictures as well there. They're what, 50, 100 deep there by the looks of things. So, Marvellous. Super day. And, yeah. uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it's what it's all about, really. Uh, all right, the Chris, biggest prize in football. The biggest prize in football, Chris. Thank you very much. Ben Bowden, who was uh, shamping us through that as well. Mm -hmm. I hope you heard some of what Hogan has to say. Uh, continuous coverage of that Chelsea parade. It's on Sky Sports News HD through the next hour and we'll dip in and out uh, of the good bits here on Sky News as well. Let's turn to... Twelve apiece at the break.